Hey, we're back for part two. We're gonna stick our head in at the Derek Eller Gallery. It's a nice bronze cardboard box. There's a painting of Martin Luther King by yeah. Keith Myers and This is gallery Guido W. Baubach, Berlin. Oh, here's a painting that caught my eye. This is by Jarna Nelgard. This is a very juicy painting. The Armory Show was actually started back in 1994-95 in the Gramercy Hotel, just off Gramercy Square. Oh look, it's the people from Vernissage TV. There's Heinrich. See folks, if I had a tripod like that, you wouldn't get all this jerky video. This is a view of contemporary fine art Berlin. We've got a group of paintings by John's Jonathan Mies. These sculptures are also by Jonathan Mies. This large picture is by Daniel Richter and he just opened last night at David Zwerner. Maybe we'll run over and see his show. Oh, at Pace Wildenstein and we got some more of our little favorites by Thomas Noskowski. Let's see what they've got in the large space here. This is by Stephen Willits. Conceptual Tower Series. This is by Millie Inc. Boy, here's a gorgeous painting by Lucas Samaras. Titled Mosaic Painting Number 27, 1992. And it's hard to believe that this uh, uh, art fair started in the Gramercy Hotel on a couple of floors. Here's Alex Katz. And these are some pretty wild and crazy times. And I believe last year they announced that this fair did over $65 million worth of business. There were some Rodney Graham paintings at Listen Gallery, London. Some nice painterly little studies here. Maybe the frames are a little uh, over the top. Jonathan Monk, my right hand with its reflection. Some art critic types. Elaine Sturdivant, Warhol Black Merrill in 2004 at Gallery Thaddeus Ropak. Gilbert and George. Nice Baselitz painting. It's a 
is Matthew Mark's gallery. This is a Terry Winters painting. This is the Acme Gallery in Los Angeles. This IBID Projects in London. So it looks we've got bundles of tobacco. To Charles Darwin. We've got a lovely couple here, VIPs. I've seen in Cologne. Welcome. Come in, come in, come in. Yeah. Some of the local superstars. This is the Paul Kasman Gallery. Gonna be eating cherry pie and drinking milk. Oh, that looks very wholesome. It's a cease and hook. Dusseldorf. And this sword must be at least 15 feet long, 18 feet long. Very nice. Wouldn't want to meet the guy that's swinging that baby. We got three interesting versions of the Mona Lisa here. They're all entitled by Gelatin, which is a Swiss art collaborative. Looks like silly putty, Play-Doh. projects, 25 panels. This is James Com coming to you from the Armory Show here on the west side and the 54th Street. Thanks, Kate. We're speaking with David Hunt. You want to give us some uh, highlights that you uh, enjoyed? Yes, I enjoyed the Wally Bestie photographs in the wall space booth. I like the Anthony Pearson, what he calls arrangements, which are a bronze sculpture and a gelatin silver print photo. I like uh, Evan Holloway, who has pieces in the Harris Lieberman booth, the Mark Several Fox booths. booth, and the Approach booth. He's good. Underrated California sculptor. Any painting that stuck out in your mind? Michael here? Bauer at Hotel. Michael Bauer, okay. He's a German painter from Cologne. What did um, you get? Did you anything over sort of uh, that stood out just as a general feeling of the fair this year? Too much figurative painting. Too much figurative painting? Yeah, too many brightly colored figurative paintings. Okay. That's it. Any other cliches? Uh, Mirrors and glass. Market, market is still going strong, it seems like. Okay, thanks, David. Hello, thank Bye. you.